Hello there friends and welcome to this early but not so bright morning here on the island of Larkshire. We're here on March 19th, the first day of spring and I was hoping to share a beautiful sunrise with you, but we have a lovely rainy day instead. I have a lot to show you, so let's get started. Oh, Kiki's home. Let's see what she's up to at this early hour. Crafting, of course. <laughs> Kiki is our crafting girl. All right, let's see what she's making today. Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? A Western style stone, okay. Yeah, teach us. We don't have that one yet. Thank you, ma'am. We will certainly give it a try. Um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and learn it to get it out of our pocket. We have a money tree in our pocket that we need to find a spot for, too. It was directly outside the front door of our house when I came out this morning, so I'm um, not going to collect any of the seashells yet or anything because nooks won't be open for a while, so we won't be able to sell anything. So we won't fill up our pockets. We will grab this though, because <laughs> we can leave, whoops, we can leave these off at the museum. Actually, Blathers is up now, but we still can't do anything with them once they're appraised. So, let's see. How do we get our umbrella back? <laughs> we'll just have them sitting outside the museum, ready to go. So guys, in our last episode, we were working on acre three of our 20 acre project. Let's see, what are we doing? Dropping fossils. And uh, we created a little park that was super cute, a little bird bath in the middle. And I said that I would be adding some path after the fact, and I did, and I went ahead and, because I was on a roll, <laughs> finished Pajmina's little corner of it as well. So let's go take a look, because I want you guys to see how much difference a path can make. I added a little purple hyacinth in here, I think those are going to look good with the orange pansies, so I'm going to dot a few more through here as we get more grown up. I filled in this little corner with some more cosmos and uh, a couple stunted trees here, which we gotta we gotta tell this one to stop now. <laughs> He's at the right size, right size. Um, oh, we don't want to eat it; we want to plant it. Okay. Yeah, it's at the right size now, so it put in a, a couple little smaller ones over here um, in the entrance. And as you can see, I put down an in-game path. I did end up choosing that as the path for this part of the island. Got a little butterfly back there, and I threw one of the festival garlands back there too, because I don't know. I thought I'd try it, and then I liked how it looked, so I left it. So here is the little path that I added in, you guys. And all the cosmos are grown up now, and I just think this looks so cute. I love it so much. It just took it up a notch, didn't it? <laughs> and I put another butterfly model over here. So we have a cute little park to come and sit in now, walk around, enjoy the flowers. I love it so much. So I believe we're calling acre three completely done. So what I have done is added in a ladder over here. I thought about putting in another bench, but I don't know. It just seemed pretty tight. So I put a ladder in here so we can get straight up to Pajmina's area. And we put down some patterns up here, some of these little uh, rock flowers. <laughs> and the little plants. We spread her some 
pansies around to go with the pansies on her door, which Pajmina's still asleep at this hour and I don't blame her. We gave her a little spot to sit where she can look down over the garden or uh, she has a good view of who's coming and going across the bridge there. She can keep track of what's going on on the island. We put a few little pieces of fence here and there for her and just created kind of a cozy little spot here next to the river. I really like how it turned out. I gave her the the mossy stone path <laughs> in front of her door. So yeah, she's got a fun little spot to hang out and she got one of these festival garlands too. <laughs> As we had a we had a couple of them sitting around. So, um, since we're working with limited stuff right now, that's what she got. But you know what? It works and it's cute. So we're actually going to pick up these balloons because we have a brand new villager of the week today. 150 of you put in your vote. So thank you so much for doing that. It makes it so much fun. And the very clear winner of this week's villager of the week is Miss Francine. So we are going to transfer these balloons down to where her house is now, which is right down here. Oh, we got another fossil right in the path. So yeah, I went ahead and took this path all the way on up because this is kind of our acre border as well. And you can see we've got the, the back border of this acre marked, the one we just finished. So we're going to also check out what acre four is going to be today. I've, I've already taken a peek, but I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> so there you go, Francine. She'll get to see those when she wakes up. That she's the new villager of the week, according to your votes. So we will be working on a vacation house for her later this week, which will be super exciting. All right, so this is our next acre, acre four. We have this cool little inlet um, space in the cliff here. And then it will also go all the way back to the edge. So right now Mary's house is sitting here in acre four and it is gonna have to move because we did not get a villager house for this acre. Let's go ahead and take a look at our little code. And for acre four, we have 16L. The 16, is a bridge. And I do have a star by that. The ones with the star by them are for if you're terraforming. So it would be really easy to add a bridge if you're terraforming. We are not terraforming on this island, so the bridge is a little harder. Although I did decide that if I want to dig a hole to put in a bridge, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I haven't 100% decided on that yet. So we have a bridge and then we have L. And L is crafted items. So we will be using crafted items in this acre. First though, we have to find a spot to put Mary, so we will be moving her. And I think I'm gonna probably do that a little bit later since she's still asleep. We won't wake her up just for that. <laughs> um, there'll be plenty of time to get her moved. So we'll probably do some preparation today and the rest of this week. And then our Saturday episode will be some decorating. So one option that, I, that we have that I mentioned is to just dig a hole and put in a little bridge and use it without a river or anything, just as a decoration. But another option that we have is a little present I sent to myself from my other island. And that is this little Karopi bridge, which is one of the Sanrio items that you can get if you scan, let's see, who is it? Toby, I think, Toby's card, amiibo card in, then you'll get the Karopi collection and so we have this as an option because it is a bridge. And I feel like there was one other thing that I thought of that could be a bridge, but I'm, I'm not remembering it right now. So yeah, we got to think about what we want to put in here because we have this area below and then above everything to the left of the stairs here, all the way over to this dotted line is also included, in including the little area right behind Pajamina's house. So that is what we're working on now. And inspiration has not struck yet. <laughs> uh, but we have some other things that we can get done today, including we're gonna just go ahead and get this fossil out of our path. And how do we love this five o'clock music, by the way? 
5 a.m. music is so nice, so fun. <laughs> okay, and guys, let me tell you, the first time that I used this method to decorate an island, every time I finished an acre, I was like, oh, I just love it. I love it so much. And I'm starting to get that feeling now, too. I love our little entrance with Hans's smoothie and taxes shop. I love this little walk through the woods that we have going on. And you can kind of see across the river now. I added in a little bunny rabbit over there and a couple other things. We have the start of a cute little view across our way here. I put in a, a few more pieces of fence over there too. Just kind of adding as I go, as I think of things, as things look good to me. So we have a cute little corner of forest over here and then we've got a path coming in and just this little park and Pashmina's little house on the hill and I just I'm just loving it so far <laughs> I love seeing like we've been running around this island for two and a half months with just craziness everywhere so it's really nice to start walking around and seeing these finished places and things that are actually something instead of you know this <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying getting getting parts of the island decorated. Well, since none of our shops are open yet or anything, and it's a cold, rainy morning, why don't we go grab a cup of coffee with Brewster? That's something we haven't done in a while. It's always a cozy little thing to do. On a rainy day. <laughs> we know Brewster's always up. We'll take a coffee. We'll even drink it hot. I never noticed there was a cuckoo clock on the wall behind him. One fresh brewed piping hot cup of coffee. Enjoy. That is perfect for a rainy first day of spring morning. Early morning. Thank you, Brewster. Oh! We got Nook Miles. What'd we get? Come home to the roost. Wow, have we only been here five times? Wow. Okay, well, that's cool. That means next time we come in, he should give us something. One of the coffee shop collectible items. So we'll have that to look forward to if we remember. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What else did we have for our two times goals today? Diving, probably not. <laughs> Earn bells by selling items, we'll have to do that later. We could change our look, but you know, we put on this cute little dress and bow in our hair for the first day of spring, so I think we're just going to stay put. We might run over to Paradise Planning and see what they have available today. Let's actually do that really quickly. Okay, well here's a little bit of sunrise for us. <laughs> it's not raining here. Let's go take a quick peek at that. Get a good view sitting on this log. It's not quite up yet. <laughs> All right, hey there Azalea. Have we talked to you since we've done your house? Nope. What are you gonna give us? A botanical wall? Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Kiki's over there doing a dance on the beach. <laughs> I guess she was exercising, maybe. <laughs> she 
sure looked like a dance to me. Good morning. Oh, we definitely want these little flowers. We'll take it. And, ooh, do we want this? Oh, we already have one of those on the island, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, probably not gonna need a water closet anytime soon, and we already have a few of those trees too, so we'll just take that today. I'm sure it'll come in handy somewhere. And we should look for our bottle on the beach while we're here. Coco! What do we got? A glowing moss wreath. Nice. We should probably start making some wreaths to hand out to our villagers to decorate their doors with. Oh yeah, I forgot it's raining. <laughs> I already forgot. Get our umbrella back out. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna go take a look. Whoops. I keep running around this way and I don't really know why. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at Acre 4 back here. And start moving some of this stuff. Which means we will have to put our umbrella down. But we're gonna get these flowers a another home. And start trying to decide what to do back here. What to do. So all we, all the direction that we got is a bridge and some crafted items. So I suppose we should be looking at what our crafted items are. Okay. <laughs> Really good at digging in the wrong place. And we'll clean up some of this random stuff that's over here. We'll have to find another home for the sugar cane. We haven't got any kind of garden yet. I suppose we could put a garden back here. The, uh, the little Karopi bridge really makes me want to put some bamboo back here. That could be fun. Just tucked into this little spot, a little bamboo forest. Would that be too weird behind this forest park here? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. How's our pockets looking? Okay, full. So let's move these flowers. Oh, we got lots of sticks around. Um, I think we'll probably take them close to the outside edge here. Hmm. I don't really want to start piling them on the beach. Oop, there's another dig spot. Let's see what we can do here. Put a couple of these. And I don't know which of these white ones are the seed ones anymore. So we're just gonna put these down and hope for the best. <laughs> Let's see. Get, oh, we got lots of fossils over here. Get a little room here too. To put our cosmos back down. Is that going to go straight in front? Yes, it is. Well, you know what? We're just going to line these up then. If we do go with bamboo back there, we might use the lilies too. I always like the lilies together with the bamboo. I think it's pretty. Alright, we need our shovel. Might as well go ahead and get these out of the ground today. <laughs> We've still got festival decorations all over the place. Another money tree, nice. All right, we're over ninety-nine thousand. Grab these. 
You guys like, when you go in first thing in the morning, like especially when it's so early and it's the calm music, don't you like just walking around and just kind of doing the, the daily pickups and stuff? <laughs> It's so cozy. Have a look. Okay, so he is selling at 5 in the morning. Um, anything we want? I do like the aerobics leggings. Let's get some of those. Don't really see anything else that I want too badly here. Thank you, Kicks. Yeah, nope. That'll do it for today. Appreciate it. Let's take a peek here. We're gonna go ahead and deposit some money. Ooh, I didn't check in yesterday. <laughs> uh, let's just peek in the Nook shopping first. There was a volcano in here the other day, but it was so expensive. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't buy it. All right, we don't have any seasonal items right now. So we're going to put some money away toward that big loan of ours. And I just like to save it up in the savings until we have the full amount and then we just pay it off all at once. That way, you know, if we happen to need something along the way, like to pay off a bridge or something, we have the money. <laughs> we don't have to scramble for it. Um, let's just check what fences are available in the Nook Miles today. Ooh, and there was something else. Yes, custom fencing in a flash. We need to get that. So, a few of you guys reminded me about that after um, I tried to customize some fence a few episodes ago and I just kept forgetting to come and get it. Totally makes sense. All right, we're, we can customize our fencing now, but let's see what fencing we have available here because we still don't have all the kinds in our collection yet. Let's see, country fence we have, spiky fence. We don't have, I don't really use that one much on a regular basis, but I guess we might as well get the recipe. It's only a thousand miles, we'll just get it. <laughs> then we have it if we suddenly need a spiky fence. And you never know. Um, let's look more reactions. We could get more reactions, but we're, it's like, <laughs> we don't really need any of that yet. So I kind of like to save the miles just in case we need to do a villager hunt or something, which we should definitely do soon. Um, but I guess what, because we have eight of our 10 villagers, but we'll probably wait until we, get to a place where we decide one of the last two that we need lives and then we'll bring them in at that point because I don't know there really isn't much reason to otherwise that I can see maybe I'm wrong I I <laughs> to be honest it's kind of fun only having eight villagers it's just another one of those things that I've never done on an island before because I always just get all the villagers as soon as you can so we're just, we're, we're taking things super slow on this island and I'm enjoying it very much. I just, I love this little park. I love it so much. Okay, back to, <laughs> back to working on Acre 4 here. Pick up some of this random stuff that's out here. And our pockets are full. You know what we should have? our shed up here. <laughs> I went and put it back after our last build. Put it back up here up front. Just because I was so used to it being here that I knew if I didn't put it back I'd be looking for it all over the place. Let's see, we can put away our little potted starter plants. The snow globe, where was that from? <laughs> Zen light, I think I bought in Nooks yesterday. And the microwave too, yep. Oh, we can put this away now too. See, we're clearing pocket space left and right. Let's learn this recipe. 
done. And then we need to find a spot for this money tree, which uh, we'll just put it right here outside Lucky's house. And it'll be up in a few days. And then we'll chop it down. I should have chopped down the money trees that we opened up today, but I just didn't think of it. <laughs> just did not think of it. Um, actually, let's go drop these fossils off with the other ones too. It's going to be weird when we end up moving the museum because I'm so used to that being here too. And we have one little cedar tree in our pocket. We've got to find a home for that. Hmm. Little park. So what in the world do we want to put in here? We could make it another little foresty area with like a... We could find a, a path for a pond. Well, I've done that before. Since we're since we're gonna have a bridge in here, but we could also just have a bridge with a path around it. Oh, and crafted items. That's right. Okay, so let's take a look at our little crafting library here. Oh, everything. Let's look at everything. Um, these are some of our newer ones. Large lattice fence. Where did I get that recipe? I do not remember learning that. Oh, oh, did it give us these two when we got the customization? That must be what happened. It gave us the park fence and the large lattice fence when we opened up the fence customization. Okay, Kiki just gave us the Western style stone. So another option for this area, we could make a little cemetery. Could be nice. I've made some pretty cemeteries on my islands before. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting, that's for sure. Let's see what else we have. We have a, a fair amount of log furniture. We could do something with that. We have not too many standees yet so probably won't be trying to do anything with those we do have the stalls we could make some kind of little market or something uh, for our villagers to walk by on their little path <laughs> on their way through it's uh, they've already been using the path and i i think that's so fun i love it when they do that um we have the brick oven we could make a, a little eating place. Let's see, ooh, we have this too. That would be fun if we did like a little bamboo garden or something. What else do we have? What else? We have some glowing moss stuff. We have this cool glowing moss pond that we could put in. If we wanted to make something a little foresty and magical, that would be fun. Oh, we got the veggie basket. We haven't made that yet. Do we do have, oh no, we don't have pumpkins. We have everything but the pumpkins. I'll have to work on getting some pumpkins. Let's see, what else would go? If we did the bamboo, we have lots of stuff we can add because we've been getting all the bamboo recipes from spring. Uh, we probably wouldn't do something seashellish that far in. We're definitely not doing ice. These are some more things that would fit into a, like a foresty area. These flower items. Hmm. So we have some options. <laughs> we do have some options. I'm going to go ahead and clear these pansies out of here. I'm going to take all the stuff out from around Mary's house. We've got some tomatoes over here where Hans used to live. Um, let's go ahead and just throw our sugar down here too then. Since we were not working on this acre right now. We're probably going to end up moving a lot of stuff a lot of times, which is okay. <laughs> we're okay with that. We can handle it. Okay, I'll just pick up these. Oh, there's a little bit of a sunrise starting to happen here, even in the rain. All right, we're going to get all of this random stuff <laughs> out of here. Is Mary's house going to be moving anyway? It's not like it was actually decorated. Most of that stuff is stuff that she gave us, and we just threw it outside her house. <laughs> so, 
so it's not going to hurt for it to go away. All right, so we have a beautiful empty acre there to work with. And that's going to be super fun. Let me just put this stuff into storage. Run all the way down here again. Because I am that person who doesn't carry my shed with me <laughs> at all times. take a look while we have this uh, empty space up here because uh, someone was asking about how to lay down the path and I know they weren't talking about this path they're talking about this kind of path so why don't we mess around with that for a minute and I'll show you kind of my process for laying down that kind of path because it can be hard to plan that or get it figured out. So usually I start with wherever the path is gonna begin. So we'll just pretend like there's a bridge over here or something. And a lot of times I'll do this just from the phone in the pocket because there's so many different pieces. It's just kind of easier <laughs> to go from the pocket um, and figure out where you're going at a time. So that would be like the beginning. Say the bridge came across here. Or, or wherever you're starting your path. You know, you can make it wider if you need to, whatever. So then I, I kind of always just do the edges first. I say, where is this path going to go and how am I going to get it there? So I would say, whoops, let me actually stand in this spot. And then push the wrong button. <laughs> um, I would say, okay, it's going to go straight down on this side, but I want it to curve over to the left. So on the left side, I'm gonna bring this corner piece in again. Okay, and then where do I want it to go from here? I want it to come down a little bit. And then I want it to curve back the other way. So I would do something like that. And then, okay, where's it gonna go from here? Is it gonna keep going the other way? Let's say it keeps going the other way. So we're gonna put that little corner piece down again. So it's going to give it a nice just angle there and I'm going to do that one more time. There we go. So on this side I brought it down and let's say I want it to get really skinny before I complete it. So I'm going to put in this corner piece and that's going to bring it down so that when I put the piece in here I'm going to want that to be like this side to kind of complete that edge. And then from there, um, say we put in this top piece here and then we'll put in another top piece. We're going to make a bit of a wide spot here. And this, this path probably isn't going to stay here, guys. I'm just doing it to show you kind of my process. Uh, let's let's make a nice wide spot here Okay, and say this is gonna come down straight so I would just do it so that it meets up so if I put the side piece here that's going to that's gonna continue that edge down and then Say the path is gonna end here So we'll put this bottom corner and a couple of the straight pieces across. And then the other bottom corner, just to finish it off, give it rounded out here. And, you know, you can do something fun with the edge here, make it bubble out a little bit. So let's say we put one more straight piece and then we put the corner on and then we can cap it off with another corner there. And then for this piece, we could just use that straight side. So that, that connects all of our edges. So now I have the edges. Now I just want to fill in. And some fun things you can do when you're filling in, instead of just using the middle piece, so like right here, 
we could say use, we'll put in, we have three straight sides around us. So let's put in this bottom piece of the path. And then in front of us, we'll put in the top piece of the path. So what I've done is create like a little spot in the middle where the stones are worn away or something. Um, just by using those outside edges to make this little hole there. So that's super fun. And then you can do the same kind of thing. Like say right here in this spot, I have this piece that is a vertical. So it has, um, you know, the open on both sides. So if I put this here, then I would just do the same thing. I say now I have three straight edges and one open edge. So what I would do is take this piece of the pattern and pop it in here and that leaves a nice little opening there just it just gives a more worn look to the path which is super fun and then i would use the other side piece and you can actually um let's see just just for funsies let's let's mix this up a little more let's take out this piece and instead, right here, we're going to put in the horizontal piece to change that up a little bit. And we can make a nice big hole in the path here. And then on this side, we'll do, we'll do this piece. And we can come down to the bottom and put in the top piece of the path. So then we have this nice big hole in the path and we'll just fill this in with that centerpiece. And boom, there we go. We have a path. And then this, you know, this is a great place to put like your potted cedar tree or something else that you wanted a little spot for. <laughs> it's fun to just fill those things in. I don't have anything left in my pockets so I can't really show you. Um, is there something laying around here still? I think I've picked everything up now. Anyway, sometimes you can get that hole big enough so that there's an actual, like you could put a flower there or something, but um, this, this is actually the corner of four pieces. So we won't be able to do that in this spot, but it, it does make a nice little spot for something. But it's fun to add those little openings into the middle of your path, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of it, just to break it up a little bit and give it some variation. But yeah, so that's how I do it. <laughs> if anybody else has any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments. I don't know, I'm gonna leave this here for a minute. It might give me some ideas, it might grow on me. But I think I probably will put up a poll. What what ideas did we come up with? We came up with a bamboo garden, a cemetery. What were the other things? Oh, like a little magical forest pond thing with the glowing moss. So we've got some good ideas going. We'll just see what we come up with oh yeah a little restaurant or something eating area eating and meeting area <laughs> for the villagers we have a lot of options but we're um yeah we're probably gonna wait a bit to start on that and now that we've finished acre three we can take out this dotted line over here probably because it's gonna be pretty clear where that acre ended once we get to the other side is anybody else awake right now? <laughs> Let's go see. Anyone else is awake? The goose is not. Wait a minute, what is this? Okay, I'm very confused right now. I already had, I already had a glowing spot right outside my house. You can't get more than one in a day, can you? That is weird. <laughs> that is weird, but we'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys saw the money tree in my pocket, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that one right there. You know what, why don't we... Hmm. I think we're gonna go ahead and clean up some of this other stuff around the island too. Just doesn't need to be here. It just seems like a good thing to do on a cozy morning. It's just 
pick some stuff up <laughs> that doesn't go. We're just having a nice calm. Too many wheelbarrows in one place morning. And I may go ahead and pick up those seashells later too. Saw another dig spot up here. How many fossils have we dug up already? Oh, this is a gyrate, okay. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a little bit better. I was starting to wonder if we doubled everything up today. Let's run around this side, see if there's anything up here. Just a stick. I'm not going all the way up there just for that. <laughs> oh, we got another blue pansy happening over here. We'll have to figure out if we want to use some blue pansies somewhere. That's not a flower that I normally end up using in my design. Uh, all of the blue flowers, I don't know. It's fun to get them, but I don't feel like I ever end up fitting them in anywhere. I'm gonna pick this up too, cause it's kind of just randomly there. How much pocket space do we have left? A little bit. Okay, so we'll pick up some of this stuff too. We got mom's candles over here. We got our valentines from our villagers, a random fortune cookie cart. <laughs> Just all kinds of stuff. Now that we're decorating, we're gonna start taking some of this stuff out of here. And here is something else we could use if we were going to do the bamboo garden, even though that's not a crafted item. So maybe we should try to keep it toward crafted items. And our pockets are full again. So we're going to have to go put stuff in storage once more. And then we might go pick up some of this stuff too. Like that rose bed doesn't really make sense where it is. That chalkboard. We'll leave some of this stuff for Kiki. We got some random boxes over here. Stuff on the rock. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> it is. We do get a little bit of extra room in Acre 4. Oh yeah. Guys, check it out. Uh, CJ was here two days ago I think and I was running around just trying to catch three big-time fish in a row and I caught this guy so we got to give him to blathers too we actually have a few bugs sitting outside of the museum all kinds of stuff so maybe we just need to make a quick visit to the museum with all those fossils and bugs and fish let's get all this stuff put away did I mean to keep that caterpillar costume? Probably not. <laughs> We're just going to throw everything in the storage for now and clean it out later. Because, you know, we just got some more, so we're trying to fill it up again already. Um, let's see. Get this off the beach. I'm going to leave that there for now. Alright, let's take our marlin. Blue marlin. And grab... Where are they? <laughs> what are the bugs? Oh yeah, we also caught this barred knife jaw. That was also one of our three big time fish in a row. So two of our three were brand new brand new catches. We got this praying mantis, we got a man-faced stink bug, and caught our very first tarantula here on Larkshire. Creepy. Um, probably need to take down this tree too. This was a money tree that I just left where it popped up. But we can get rid of that now. Got some random pipes up there behind resident services. What have we been doing, man? <laughs> just throwing stuff everywhere. Okay, we should have enough room for all these fossils and then we'll go in and see Blathers. Blathers, wake up. <laughs> he must have just gone to sleep not that long ago. Let's see, we need you to assess some fossils first, just in case any of those need to be donated. And then we'll make a big old donation. And if you love creepy crawlies, you're really gonna love what we have today. <laughs> we got two creepy ones. Tarantula and the Praying Mantis is pretty creepy too. If you've ever been stared at by one, you know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make a donation. None of those fossils were donatable. Okay, but we do have two new fish and three new bugs. Perfect. 
Splendid. That's going to do it, Blathers. We are going to go look at our blue marlin, though. Oh, there's our sturgeon. We still don't have any of the big river fish. The marlin's in here, right? Yeah. There he is. Hanging out with the tuna. Wait, we caught a tuna? <laughs> I don't remember catching that. But, you know what? Good on us. Those are two hard to catch ones. What else is usually in here? Like the sharks and the sucker fish and stuff? What did we get nook miles for? Ah, assessing fossils. Cool. Anything else? Nope. Pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Oh, the goldfish is so lonely in there. We gotta find him a friend. We need to start catching some more pond fish. Why don't we clean up some of this stuff too? It tends to be in the way <laughs> when we're running through here. Plus, the more stuff we have in our storage when we go to decorate, um, the easier it is to find. Pockets are full. Oh yeah, full of fossils, right? Let's go drop those by nooks so we can sell them later. Oh, actually, you know what? That one is kind of cool looking, isn't it? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Oh, no. That is kind of cool looking, though. We might use that for decoration somewhere. Any of these other ones a decoration type one? No. Okay. <laughs> so those we can all drop. get them out of our pocket and what is this bug here oh it's a citrus beetle okay oh, we'll pick this guy up he doesn't need to be out here we just got random stuff on the beach over here <laughs> so much random stuff oh there's some more bugs over here too wait a minute we've probably donated all these by now right Oh, let's not forget we have this cool arch, too. That might be good if we end up doing a foresty area over there. We're gonna get these instruments off the beach. This, Yeah, we just got so much stuff everywhere. Some of this stuff I'm gonna sell, actually. I don't think we're gonna keep, like, the drum set and stuff right now. Get rid of that. Projection screen we'll hold on to. And actually, I'm going to sell that thing too, but I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, hopefully, I'll remember it's down there. Still trying to decide which one of these should go around the trees at the front. I was kind of waiting until the grass gets as green as it's going to get. Is this as green as it's going to get right now? Can't tell. I know it's going to get a lot brighter in the summer. I think any of them will look good either way, so... Yeah, we're just filling up that storage. We've still got a couple hundred spaces left, though. <laughs> Alright, actually, we're going this way. Where, where were we going? Okay, here we go. We're gonna clean up our birthday party. All this festival stuff. Probably put that big bird away to go <laughs> staring at us from across the river. Get these pipes out of here. I don't know, we'll hold on to those. We might need them for something.
We need to get some more yellow hyacinths too. Fill in the rest of that front area. Well, the rain did end up stopping and we have a nice morning sky to enjoy now. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It was a little more of a chill episode. We didn't get much done, but we got a lot done. It's one of those days again. We've got an acre four all ready to be decorated. We're gonna get Mary's house moved as soon as she wakes up today and uh, decide what we're gonna put in here so we can decorate it up in our next episode. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please take a moment if you would and click the like button for me. And if you enjoy cozy calm videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there friends. Have a beautiful day.